Donald Trump is facing two articles of impeachment, or two charges, abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. On Wednesday, the House of Representatives will vote to decide whether to formally level those charges. And there's no suspense anymore about this. Democrats have a majority in the House, and they're expected to approve the articles of impeachment. At that point, Mr. Trump will be considered officially impeached. However, and this is often the misunderstood part, he will stay in office, awaiting a trial which will be held in the Senate probably next month. And that trial will ultimately decide whether Mr. Trump remains president or not. Crucially, the Senate is controlled by Mr. Trump's Republican allies. Everything I do during this, I'm coordinating with White House counsel. There will be no difference between the president's position and our position. There's no chance the president's going to be removed from office. Here's what we know about the Senate trial. The chief U.S. Supreme Court justice presides. That's one thing. Lawmakers, that's another, selected by the House, present the case to the senators, who essentially here act as jurors. And the senators then vote on whether to oust the president. This is a very high bar to meet. You need a two-thirds majority to make a conviction. That is 67 senators. And in this political climate, that is extremely unlikely. Things about the trial that we don't know now, whether or not the president will actually show up, how long the trial might last, what evidence can be presented, and who, if anyone, would be allowed to testify. Republicans are leaning toward a quick trial, and they might even skip witness testimony altogether. I don't want to call anybody. This thing will come to the Senate, and it will die quickly, and I will do everything I can to make it die quickly. Well, be that as it may, Democrats actually want to bring in key witnesses. Those include the president's acting chief of staff, Mick Mulvaney, and his former national security advisor, John Bolton. Trials have witnesses. That's what trials are all about. These people know better than anybody else the facts. There is no reason on God's green earth why they shouldn't be called and testify, unless you're afraid of what they might say. So if you take a big step back, what does this sweep of history teach us? Does it hold any lessons? Well, kind of. Three presidents before Trump have faced impeachment. Two were impeached by the House. Andrew Johnson in the 19th century and Bill Clinton in the 1990s. Both of them were then acquitted by the Senate and they kept their jobs. One, Richard Nixon, resigned before his proceedings ended. But all three previous presidents who have faced impeachment saw their parties lose the White House in the following election. 